Hi, welcome back. Pet of the week, we are introducing you to the sweetest and tiniest little kitten you've ever seen named Dora the Explorer. So to introduce us to Dora, I'm going to bring in Nancy Anastopoulos with Community Cat Angels. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. Okay, so tell us the background of this little girl. Well, I tell you what, we were always talking about spaying and neutering, and this is just one of the examples on why it is so important. It's because these uh, community cats, they get everywhere to have their babies. And in this case, this one was born in an attic of an apartment building. Now imagine an attic that goes the width of an apartment building. Would anyone know that the cats were up there? Well, in this case, the roof had a hole in it. A rainstorm came, caused a hole in one of the apartments, in one of the ceilings. And they had went and fixed the hole of the apartment complex on the roof. And as they were going to fix the hole in the ceiling, this little one fell out. That's the only way that they knew that there were cats and kittens up there, is because this one decided she was going to explore <laughs> and ended up huh, separated. Dora the Explorer. Yes, hence Dora the Explorer. Now we are in the process still of trying to get the other ones out of the attic. Um, but had she not fallen through, nobody would have known. Imagine that. Uh, happening awful okay so thank goodness for needing that roof repair yeah but as you mentioned this shows the importance of spaying and neutering so that they don't end up in these hard to find places right exactly exactly she could have they could have very well been trapped up there once all the repairs were done okay and you mentioned Dora is not quite ready for adoption no yet, right? she's not she's okay. only about five weeks a week but we do have about 50 kittens right now in our group that are all going to be ready within two months so we do need a lot of adopters coming up here in the next couple months. Okay, that's really good to know. As you mentioned, it is kitten season, right? Yes. So you guys are really busy. Very busy, <laughs> very busy. <laughs> okay, if someone's maybe not able to adopt right now, how can they help you in your mission in, in helping these community cats? Well, we go through a lot of kitten wet can food. We always need donations on that. If you want to sign up to foster, that's amazing as well. Doesn't take a lot of space, just a small bathroom to be able to keep them in. Helps us out greatly. Um, you can donate to our PayPal to help with the vetting expenses. Okay, yeah, giving them a second <coughs> chance. And she is so cute, so when she's ready for adoption, I'm sure people are going to be very antsy <laughs> to yes. give her a, a yes. new home. Oh, we have such a variety. It's like we have a, a rainbow of kittens. <laughs> I call them the little Skittles now. <laughs> okay, so if someone does want to adopt, what's their first step? Um, message us at Community Cat Angels, uh, well, on our Facebook page. Okay. Or we have our email address, cats at communitycatangels.org. I do have an adoption coordinator then that will send out the applications, review them, interview them, and then we continue on with the process from there. Okay. All right, we'll be posting those links for you on our website, ktnv.com, and we'll be right back after this.